This is one of my most favorite quotes from The Power of Awareness. That which you feel yourself to be, you are. And you are given that which you are. So assume the feeling that would be yours were you already in possession of your wish. And your wish must be realized. So live in the feeling of being the one you want to be and that you shall be. Every feeling makes a subconscious impression. And unless it is counteracted by a more powerful feeling of an opposite nature, it must be expressed. Your feelings are different from your thoughts. Your feelings are what you experience in your body. The dominant of two feelings is the one expressed. I am healthy is a stronger feeling than I will be healthy. I am healthy says I feel healthy and I feel healthy. I feel great. I don't determine if I am well on the basis of what it says on a piece of paper or on the basis of what somebody else out there tells me. I live my life feeling within my body that I am strong, I am capable, I am able. And that is not just something that I say. It's not just an affirmation. An affirmation is an intellectual exercise. This is a spiritual knowing within that I am well, I am content, I am prosperous. But the words that Neville used there are the subconscious. Every feeling that you have makes a subconscious impression upon your body and upon your awareness. Now, you, you need to understand the subconscious mind of yours. Your subconscious mind rules your life. 96 to 97 percent of everything that you do is done as a result of your subconscious mind. And when your subconscious mind gets programmed, it goes ahead and responds to whatever it is your conscious mind has placed into it. I have a wonderful quote by the man I've cited before. His name is Neville, and it goes like this. He says, disregard appearances, conditions. In fact, disregard all evidence of your senses. That is what your eyes and ears tell you that deny the fulfillment of your desire, whatever it is you want to attract into your life. Disregard appearances, conditions, in fact, all evidence of your senses that deny the fulfillment of your desire. Rest in the assumption that you already are what you want to be. For in that determined assumption, you and your infinite being, your extraordinary self, which is what this program is about, are merged in creative unity and with your infinite being, God, all things are possible. God never fails. And you are a piece of that which never fails. And you are going to move beyond just being a piece and just being a fragment and just being a segment until it becomes your overwhelming knowing that you have within you this divine capacity. You don't need evidence of your senses. I wrote a book a few years back. The title of it, I had to get my publisher because they didn't understand it. They called back, they said, I think you got this wrong. I said, no, it's called You'll See It When You Believe It. Not the other way around. People will say, well, I'll believe it when I see it. It doesn't work that way. You'll see it when inside you have a knowing. And Neville also said, therefore, to incarnate a new and a greater value of yourself, you must assume that you already are what you want to be, and then live by faith in this assumption. Now this flies in the face of so much of what you've been told because you have a tendency to believe that what your eyes and ears tell you is reality. But this is what we know by our senses. Just this little tiny fragment, I can't even get, you know, it's like a, a millionth of a millimeter. And all that is unknown is in the invisible, in the imagination. 
And most of our attention is focused on, this is my beliefs and my disbeliefs about what is possible, what isn't possible, are here. And it's an endless, an endless universe. So placing I am's into your imagination is one thing, it's an intellectual act. Living from the end means that you call the things which do not exist as if they did.